everyone and welcome to what is going to be a very hot and flustered 2014 favourites part 2. I seem to have turned my room into a mini sauna and I'm really regretting it. Okay let's get on with my 2014 favourites part 2 before we all die of old age. Today we're going to be doing brushes, hair care, skin care, all the care. And starting off with brushes there was one set that really did reign supreme throughout 2014 and it's the Zoeva Rose Gold Brush... Rose Gold? Rose... Rose Gold brush set. I've got a few of them here. Some of them Nala has chewed so I no longer own them but they are basically some beautiful face and eye brushes that are rose gold on the end but the handles are kind of like a matte black which is just so beautiful, so classy, just so... I just love them. Um, their standard brushes are great anyway. I love their MAC version of the 217 whatever it is. It's the 22 seven yeah basically the same thing but better so much softer um weirdly though the rose gold 227 is not as soft as the standard 227 weird this is the only one i have left nala has chewed all of my 217 she's got a thing about blending brushes for eye makeup so i now can't do a really complex smoky eye um not that you needed to know that but anyway i also really liked kevin aquan brushes but they are ridiculously expensive so unless you woke up and started um, excreting money then I wouldn't recommend. NARS brushes are also great but also really expensive but I really love the Yachio brush this year. I think this one's discontinued now but they do have a very similar one uh, which is just slightly thicker on the handle so love that. In terms of skincare though I've got quite a lot to get through so first thing Bioderma always my favourite makeup remover not cleanser but makeup remover I use this and then I go in and cleanse I just love this I've got the uh, blue one at the moment which is for dry skins um, I actually prefer the regular one I think it's the red one which is for normal I think it's for normal I prefer the red one it just takes off makeup so much quicker for a super quick morning cleanse I love the Clarins one step water cleanser water comfort one step cleanser that's the one it smells like peaches is incredible I've used so many bottles of this I just love it I've got a little bit left need to restock it's just beautiful it smells delicious it's really refreshing on your skin it just takes off the grime from like when you are sleeping and your skin produces like all those little weird oils it just takes all of those off leaves you feeling really fresh and nice and ready to start your day and it saves a lot of time as well so what's not to love and then when it comes to a proper cleanse i think we all know the cleanser that i love this year it's the oskia renaissance cleansing gel and this smells like turkish delights quite a bit it smells like roses smells delicious it's the best texture of a cleanser I've ever used. It comes off like a kind of balm and then it kind of melts into more of a gel but not like a foamy gel. It's kind of like a balmy gel. It's just beautiful. It feels lovely on your skin. It cleanses like a dream. Whatever your skin type, if you're looking for a new cleanser I would definitely recommend this. And then when it comes to toners, I'm really not a toner kind of girl at all. But the La Roche-Posay Cero Zinc, um, what is it called? Zinc Sulfate Solution. This is so hyped up and I wasn't sure whether I wanted to try it, I was really unsure, it was kind of like really hyped in 2013 and in the summer I went to Paris and just picked some of this up because until very recently this wasn't available, well I nearly hit myself in the face of it, until very recently this wasn't available in the UK so when I went over to Paris I picked up a couple of bottles and then I found that I actually really liked it. It's really good for if you have kind of those tiny little under the skin pimples, if you've got big spots on your head it's not really going to do too much but for little kind of pimples under the skin that the bacteria is, is the cause of it actually really helps to reduce them so i really do love this for moisturizer there's no question on the moisturizer that i've been loving i think i've been using it for pretty much the whole year it's the origins make a difference plus moisturizer it's just so plumping and hydrating and really lovely if you have kind of dehydrated skin I would so recommend this it's great for lots of skin types but for me when I have really dehydrated skin I just my skin looks so much plumper in the morning so so lovely smells like angels are having a party on your face oh it just smells delicious I love it I missed out serum how on earth did that happen I love the Sarah Chapman hydrating booster intense hydrating booster I have two of these why do I have two one is empty one is not Basically I love this, I just keep repurchasing it, I've got loads and loads of like empties of this 
I don't know why I keep them, I think I'm going to do an empties video but I just never do. This is quite similar in its effect to the um, Make a Difference Plus Moisturiser by Origins. It's very plumping and hydrating on dehydrated skin which I love because that is the main issue that I have with my skin at the moment. For face masks, the Aesop Parsley Seed Cleansing Mask is my favourite. It's really great for if you have any kind of blemishes, it just really calms them down, it's very soothing, it's not too drying even though it's kind of a clay texture, it's just beautiful. I did a review on this at the beginning of this year, I've basically loved this throughout 2015. 15, 14. And then we move on to hair care and there was a shampoo and conditioner combo that I loved this year, it was a new release for 2014 and it's the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Sulfate Free Shampoo and Conditioner and these smell incredible, they give like a second day look to your first day hair. It's, how does that, does that even make sense? But it basically makes your hair on the first day of a wash look like second day hair. They smell incredible, I love the packaging, I just love these products in general. If you're looking for more of an affordable kind of drugstore alternative, the L'Oreal Everish shampoo and conditioner are very similar in their effect to this, I just love these that little bit more, but apart from that they're kind of quite similar in the effect that they give, just not in texture or smell or consistency or anything like that. For heat protectant, I love the L'Oreal Paris Studio Line New Hot and Smooth Hot Straight Cream. It's changed like the description of its name so many times over the time that I've been using it. I've been using this longer than I've been using my collection liquid liner. I've been using this since I was 13 years old. <laughs> I've been using it since Beyonce first like was on the adverts for it when it came out because I just used to straighten my hair all the time when I still straighten my hair all the time now but when I was 13 I was really into straightening my hair and I have just been using this ever since because it's the perfect kind of amount of smoothing, 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 yeah smoothing, softening, um, protecting. And my hair is just so undamaged by all the straightening that I do and I just think it's all down to this. I've got another couple of extras here for things that I have been using throughout uh, 2014 in terms of hair care. The Orbe Maximista Thickening Spray was used quite a lot. I'm over halfway through the bottle and I love it. It really just does help to really thicken up your hair. I use it in the roots because they are a little bit limp which I haven't used it on my last wash which was yesterday and you can really tell today my hair is just quite flat and just not not brilliant but this just makes it brilliant. I think it's also got a bit of heat protectant in it as well and it smells delicious. It is just one of my favourite hair care products ever. And then we have the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. This is great. This helps to keep your style for longer. It's really hard to explain but basically if I put this through my hair and then I blow dry it straight and then straighten it, it will stay straighter even if like the wind and the rain battle with me. Like it will stay as straight as it can. The first time I used this I went to Edinburgh and it was raining and snowing and windy and there was sun as well, it was warm, it was weird, they had every kind of weather I think I've ever seen. And I straightened my hair in the morning and used this the night before and I was sure that my hair was just going to end up a frizzy mess by the time we got to the hotel and it actually wasn't too bad, there was kind of like a slight wave to it at the end, like my hair will kick out either way at the end, but apart from that there was no like curving to it, it kind of does this um, but there was nothing, it was just completely straight as it was when I left the house and I was just amazed because usually the wind and rain will just make my hair go mental. And now I am down to the final two little extras and they're kind of ones that I didn't put in the makeup one because I didn't think it fitted and I wasn't sure where to put them. But I've got perfume and nails and nails I think we all knew that it was going to be Essie Bordeaux. It's a really cult nail polish that everyone loves and everyone has in their collection and I only added it into my collection this year and you know it was about time and I really really love it. It's kind of like a brownie dark red is just beautiful. Perfect for autumn and winter and I love the Essie formulas anyway so it lasts a really long time on me. I think I've had this on for four or five days now and it's no chips and I just love it so that has been my nail polish of the year. And then we have perfume of the year which has to be Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. I love this, it is just so so beautiful. It's kind of like floral but it's like quite dark, but it's very sweet, it's just so beautiful, it's got a little bit of muskiness to it, it's just my perfect, perfect perfume, I think I got this back in the summer, yeah it was back in the summer and I just absolutely love it, it's so delicious and the packaging is beautiful, it's got kind of like a ridged effect to it, but it's also like ever so slightly duochrome, it's just absolutely stunning and I love it and I think I found the one. So that is the end of my 2014 favourites, can I get a whoop whoop? Silence, yeah.
If you guys like this give it a thumbs up if you did let me know what your favorites have been in regards to skincare and hair care in the comments below i can't think of anything else to say so i'm just gonna go and i will see you guys on tuesday bye, bye.